and girls. I'm feeling a little bit silly today, so I thought it would be fun to start our video with a silly game. Here's how it works. I'm going to say a statement. If you think that what I says is true, if it's real, I want you to jump up and down and clap as loud as you can. But if you think that what I'm saying is not true, that it's false, I want you to hold very still and be very, very quiet. Ready? Let's go. Babies can ride bicycles. Hmm, it sounds like you're being very quiet, which means you know that that is not true. There are no babies that can ride bicycles. Candy is sweet. Whoa, you made a lot of noise. That means you knew that was true. Dogs say meow. Hmm, I don't hear anything. That must mean you know that's not a true statement. Dogs bark. Can you give me your best dog bark? That was great. Okay, last one. Buses hold a lot of people. Whoa, you definitely knew that was true. Good job on our game. If something is true, that means it's correct or right. If something is not true, we might say it's false or even wrong. In today's true Bible story, Paul wrote a letter to the church in Thessalonica to the Jesus followers there because he wanted them to know what was true. Let's sing, I have decided to follow Jesus before we start our lesson. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. Beautiful singing. Paul traveled to the city of Thessalonica. Let's pretend we're walking down the road with Paul. Can you stand up and march in place? Nice work. The people in Thessalonica worshiped idols, fake gods, things that were not God. Let's put our thumbs down because that was a bad choice. Some of them even worshiped the ruler of Rome. But when Paul got there, he taught them about Jesus and many of them chose to believe. Let's give that a thumbs up. Paul started the church in Thessalonica, but not everyone liked Paul or the things that he was teaching. So they made him leave the city. Can you stand up and march away? Paul worried about the believers in Thessalonica. These people hadn't been believers for very long. Would they know what to do? So Paul sent his friend, Timothy, to visit them. And Timothy brought back happy news. Even though following Jesus was not always easy, the people in Thessalonica did not give up. Paul wrote a letter to the believers to encourage them. He told them that Jesus would come back someday. Can you say, hip, hip, hooray, Jesus will come back someday. Hip, hip, hooray, Jesus will come back someday. Paul told the church that no one knows when Jesus will come back. We just know that he will. While we wait for Jesus to come back, we can tell others the good news about him. Can you turn to someone and say, Jesus loves you? That was great. While we wait for Jesus to come back, we can choose to have hope. Hope is believing that God can bring good things out of bad things. Let's pray and thank God for Jesus. Dear God, thank you for sending your son Jesus. Thank you that we know he will come back someday. Amen. My friend, Miss Kristen at Digging Deeper with Daisies and Doodles has a fun activity page that you can do today to help you remember that nobody knows when Jesus is going to come back, but we know that he will come back someday. We can be excited about it. Thanks so much for spending time today with me, boys and girls. Jesus loves you so much, and I do too. I'll see you again next time.